cannot wait to get into this. So let's go ahead and put this down and let's start the video, shall we? Oh! 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 Shit! Oh my god. Almost just shot myself. Almost had to go out and buy a new camera. What is going on you guys? Steven here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Oh my god, man. It feels so good to be saying that. I haven't been in front of a camera with lights or anything at all uh, for so long. I haven't made a video in like a month and a half. I haven't posted. I've been totally inactive from YouTube for like a good month, month and a half. All right, all right. I know. I know. You guys are here strictly for the unboxing. All right. You hate when I ramble on forever. Believe me, I know. We're going to get to the unboxing really, really shortly. However, before we get to that, if you guys want to know, number one, where I've been and why I've not been uploading, there's three big reasons why I've not been uploading or why I basically quit YouTube for this past month and a half. If you wanna know what those reasons are, and you also, number two, wanna know why I changed my YouTube name? If you haven't noticed it yet, look down there. It doesn't say Airsoft Tech 23 anymore. It just says AT23, so obviously it means the same thing. It's just abbreviated, basically. But there's a reason why I did that. So if you wanna know the answers to those two big things, all right, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. This is my Instagram right here, at AT23 underscore YouTube, okay? Get me up to 6K, because once I reach 6K, I'm gonna post a picture, just some basic picture, you know, like thanks for 6K or something like that. But the important thing is the caption on that post, beneath the picture, is gonna be like an essay basically answering those two big things. With all that being said, let's get to the unboxing. So I hope you guys don't mind that we're on the floor here. This thing is just way too big to unbox at my desk over there. So let's just go ahead and open this guy up. There is so much freaking tape on the thing, you guys, and my knife is so dull, it's gonna be hard to cut through this thing. There's just so many layers of tape. I gotta be pretty rough with this thing. Oh. So let's go ahead, cut that last piece, set the knife aside. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. And yes, I do know what is in here. Again, one last time, Classic Army, thank you so much for sending this over to me. Guys, the links for all this stuff, or all this stuff, there's two st there's two guns in here. Um, the links for these guys will be in the description. All right, so here's item number one. All right, I see what it is right here. You guys can't see it yet, um, but it's a new line that they have going on right now. It was just released not too long ago. So here's number one. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and set this box to the side. Don't worry, we will open up both of them. And then here is item number two, if this will fit in the camera frame. So yeah, this one's the big one. And this one is substantially heavier. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can read this. However, first up, we have the new Classic Army ENF 003P. No, I'm just messing. So basically what this is though, you guys, is this is a EC2. Now you guys, you guys may be wondering, Steven, why the hell are you doing another video on an EC2? Well, because it's an EC2, but it's like the revamped, upgraded version of the EC2. Now the EC2 is a great beginner gun, a great skirmish line that Classic Army has. And I think they retailed for like $165 to $170, something like that. This is a little bit more expensive. This is a now $190 because not only does it come with everything that the EC2 came with, which I will run down with you guys once we take it out of the box, however, it also now comes with an ECS. So before I explain what an ECS is and I just completely run through what this thing has to offer, I just want to give you guys a quick, you know, look at it, a quick close-up, and I also want to get to obviously the other box. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys this really, really quickly. It's a completely nylon fiber uh, construction externally. It is is not full metal. Um, just give you guys the other side now. Hopefully this is in focus. It should be in focus. Um, but yeah, it looks basically identical to an EC2. However, it comes with a key mod rail version. So this is specifically the KM10, I believe, with the key mod rail system. And what's also nice is it comes with these rail segments right out of the box. That's pretty cool. Obviously it has flip up iron sights. However, I'm kind of getting into a review, which is exactly what I don't want to do. So anyways, this is the KM10 with the key mod rail system. Don't worry. I will run down what an ECS is and everything else that this has to offer internally. However, let's go ahead and get to the second box first. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we get into the other box, which is right there. See you guys, I'm so rusty. I haven't done a video in so long. 
I haven't even shown you guys what's in the rest of the box. I'm so freaking dumb. All right, so along with the gun itself, you obviously get a battery. It's a 9.6 volt battery. It's not an 8.4. Good job, Classic Army. I see what you're doing. So yeah, it's a 9.6 volt battery. You obviously get the standard wall charger for your battery. So you have that out of the box. You obviously get a cleaning slash unjamming rod. You also get a bag of 0.20 gram BBs. Um, actually, no, I stand corrected. It is actually 0.25 gram BBs if my camera focuses. I think you guys can see that. So if you if you guys want to go ahead and use these, honestly, I wouldn't be afraid to go ahead and just test these out if you want to. Usually people say don't use the BBs that come in these little baggies with guns. I don't think these are going to really be that bad, okay? I think these are going to be just fine. And obviously you get a magazine. I believe this is a 300 round high capacity. Yep, trap door on the top. Uh, magazine, obviously it's plastic. You got the wheel on the bottom, just a standard M4 high cap mat. But yeah, so that is everything that comes with the box and obviously this is pretty standard. You get the manual, but yeah, that's everything. Let's go to the second box. Okay, so let's get into box number two. Let's go ahead and undo these flaps right here. Go ahead and do this. So I know what's in here, okay? I know what's in here, but let's go ahead and open it. Oh, okay, they took me by surprise a little bit. I didn't think it was actually gonna come in green, but this is a G3, this is one of their G3 lines, uh, Classic Army's G3 lines. Man, this thing looks nice. So obviously you get like a carrying bag or whatever for your G3, Classic Army includes this with all their higher end, more expensive guns. You also get the manual, go ahead, set that right there. Oh my, this really reminds me of my JG T3 MC51G. But let's go ahead and stop talking. And oh damn, this thing feels uh, about a billion times better than my, uh, than my JG T3 MC51G. Wait a second, is this all metal? Oh damn, this thing is completely metal. All of this is metal, except obviously the green accents here, the green handguard, the green motor grip, and then the green stock right here, but I love the two-tone. The two-tone looks fantastic. All right, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Just holding this thing and looking at it and feeling it, the externals, this completely shits on my JG T3MC51G. Sorry, JG. Obviously, this thing is also way more expensive, um, but you know, man, this thing is just, Really freaking nice. I love that it's full metal. I was not expecting this thing to be full metal. Anyways though, so I don't forget, the only other thing that comes in the package is again, another cleaning slash unjamming rod right here. You don't get a battery, you don't get a charger, you don't get a bag of BBs. All right, so really quickly, before we go ahead and sit in my chair and talk about each one of these briefly, uh, here it is, you guys. Man, this thing looks absolutely Fantastic. Hopefully this is in focus for you guys. This thing is pretty damn long too, man. This thing just, it feels like it just keeps going and going and going down there when you're looking down the iron sights. Um, but let me go ahead and flip it around for you guys. Check out the other side. There is a sticker which you can obviously go ahead and take off. There is the fire selector switch right there. Safe, semi, and full auto. And oh man, this feels so much better than my JG T3 uh, MC51G, the fire selector switch that is. It's so much firmer, stiffer, it clicks into place more. It's just, this thing is just way better, man. This thing is awesome. Good job, Classic Army. I'm gonna be honest, man. This thing looks absolutely fantastic. All right, I apologize if that was kind of like a weird transition right there, a quick edit. Um, however, we're back in my chair. I wanna talk about each one now pretty briefly, quickly. I don't wanna make this video super, super long. But here again, we have the uh, KM10 with the key mod rail system. So let's get into the ECS real quick. What is an ECS? An ECS is a programmable electronic control system. That's what ECS stands for. So what does that allow you to do? Why is this more expensive and better than the original EC2? Well, an ECS, this thing now allows you to program it for three or five round bursts. The EC2, it only had a safe, semi, and full auto. This does as well, but now you can program it for three or five round bursts. Along with that though, it comes with, uh, I believe, motor protection, as well as low battery detection. So for sub $200 and to have an ECS, 
That's pretty damn cool. However, along with ECS, it comes with everything that the original EC2, you know, came with, such as a 6.03 type bore inner barrel, a quick change spring feature. It's obviously lipo ready. It comes with an inline MOSFET, so it protects your trigger contacts. Um, it also comes wired to Dean's. I think it also has low resistance silver wiring. However, going back to the Dean's part, not many guns come wired to Dean's out of the box. However, don't worry. If you don't have any batteries wired to Deans, it comes with a Deans to Tamiya adapter. So you can just use normal, your normal 11.1 with a Tamiya connector. Um, but I'd highly recommend just getting an 11.1 with a Deans connector because they're just better. But yeah, man, other than that, it's pretty much just a standard M4. The big things are everything going on internally, which you guys all now know about. Anyways, though, this is, again, the uh, Classic Army KM10 with the Keymod rail system. It had, They have a whole bunch of different versions, lengths, you know, different rail systems and stuff like that so all the prices fluctuate $190 for this guy in my hands I think that's a bargain man anyways though, let's go ahead and get into the G3 a little bit more all right so here's the G3 this is the classic army G3 a3 they also have another version which is like the classic army uh, G3 SG1 I believe it's what it's called it has like an integrated bipod it has like a cheek rest thingy up here it's a little bit different looking um it doesn't have this skinny handguard it's a little beefier you know to obviously house the uh, bipod um i think they're the same price though so you can kind of you can get which one you want personally though i like the slim look of this one look I, as i showed you could wrap your whole hand around that i like that man i don't know um but yeah i like the two-tone color going on here with the od green on the handguard the motor grip the uh what's it called the stock here and the the biggest the single biggest thing though the metal. The metal, this thing gives it some nice weight. I've never held a full metal G3 before. I've never held an actual G3 before. That's why I think I'm so like excited about it maybe. I don't know. I just, I've never held one of these before and it's really freaking cool. Anyways though, just to talk about it a little bit in terms of the magazine, it can hold 500 rounds. So it's a pretty damn large magazine capacity. It has a pretty nice, this comes with all, you know, G3s or whatever. Uh, this this really nice uh, charging handle where you can lock it up. You know, it reveals your hop up over there. Pretty cool. Um, it has like these MP5 style sights. Um, it comes with a ton of battery space, man. And that's one thing I like about G3s and my JGT3 MC51G, you can fit any battery in these stocks. And uh, this too comes with um, a Deans to Tamiya adapter and it comes wired to Deans out of the box. See, right there. There's the Deans, if you guys can see that. Maybe it's too small, I don't know. But there is wired to Deans. You have the MOSFET over, the inline MOSFET. Go ahead and uh, put the adapter back on so you could use the Tamiya. Again, that's what it looks like for the uh, KM10, the skirmish line that I just showed you guys. All right, I'm done though, because I'm kind of getting into a review mode. I'm, just, I'm done talking about them. So yeah, this is the Classic Army. J oh my Jesus! All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm st I'm I'm done talking because I'm getting into the review mode now. So I want to stop myself before it's too late. Um, but yeah, so this is the last time the Classic Army G3 A3. It retails for around two hundred and fifty dollars right now. Both of the guns you can get. Hold on, let me pick it up real quick. Boom. Both of these you can get on Airsoft GI's website. Uh, so links will be in. Come on, grab it. Oh my God, if I dropped it on camera. Sorry, Classic Army. Um, but yeah, you can get both of these on Airsoft GI's website. Links will be in the description. Again, Classic Army, thank you so much for sending these out to me to do videos on and to do this unboxing video. You guys are amazing. Anyways, though, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack that thumbs up button. And if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate both of those. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.